Hello AFAM from Fez in Morocco. I'm Ashley, this is my husband Josh. Welcome to our channel. We sold everything we had to travel the world and now we want to share with you the way away. So be sure to subscribe down below, hit the little like button, and hit that little bell so you can follow our adventures. Let's go. Okay, so we are in Morocco. If you watched our video from yesterday, we arrived very late. It's actually the afternoon already because it took forever to get today's video up. Uh, the internet was a little slow. It was really hard work on the video, but we got everything up. We're good to go. And now we wanna show you guys around Fez. So we're gonna go out and explore. But first, this morning was amazing. We woke up in a beautiful room. So we had a wonderful breakfast. That's part of the accommodation. Yeah. And it just the whole experience here is already amazing. Everyone's really kind. And this is like a normal experience. We literally were coming to Morocco with no expectations. No expectations. We have not prepared ourselves at all and we have not made any plans. Um, I kind of made it that way because it's hard online to figure out things to do. Yeah. Um, and it's so funny because when we arrived, our host is like, okay, so let me help you plan your you know, right. travel. Right. And so it's actually worked out really well. We have some really fun things for you guys um, that were not planned. And in a day, we already have a little bit of plans. So Morocco, that's this bar has been amazing. So now we're going to show you our special room. Come with me. So this is our bathroom. I took a hot shower last night, which was amazing. Um, I wasn't sure if they would even have hot water, so they do. In the Rhea. That's, that's, that's what you call expectations because you have like this have idea, no idea in your head what a place will be like, yeah. and then you get there and you're like, oh, it's normal and cool in different ways. Yeah, it's a hot place, so I thought, well, maybe it's gonna be a cold shower. Mm. I was pleasantly surprised. This is our room. We have a nice big bed and then wood carving just everywhere, which is amazing. The closets are big enough to fit all of our clothes. And then some. And then I love these wood ceilings that just the slats that go across. Combined with the really cool tile floors and the big windows, I'm in heaven. And this is the courtyard of our Airbnb. You would not believe this. Now the thing is, this is actually pretty common in Morocco. They have these things called riads, which are old Moroccan homes centered around a courtyard, just like this one. Uh, but it's popular now to turn them into hotels, or in this case, an Airbnb. You can get a room here pretty easily just by getting one on Airbnb. And that's exactly what we've done. And Ashley has just made herself at home. That's actually been our office the last day. That little place. Uh, unless like you're like Josh and he can't put his knees underneath the table. No, look at this. <laughs> it's, I love the idea and the concept, but this, that's not comfortable. It's all man problems. Yeah, now if it was cool, I'd just lay down on this bed here, but I don't know, I just feel like that's you're not supposed to do that. Anyways, let's head out into Fez. We are hungry, so the first thing that we're gonna do is probably just try and find some place to eat. Um, we are, we, well, we don't actually know where we are. We're near the Blue Gate, which is on the southwest side of town. Um, a lot of tourists here, a lot of people selling to tourists, as you can see. But uh, we're just trying to find a place that's good, inexpensive, authentic, you know, and not too touristy. My plan is to just find somewhere with people in it. That's the usual plan. If you find locals in a place, then it should be okay. Yeah, that seems just hard to find, you know? Oh, yeah, let's we go this way. this way. I like that. But these roads are like a freaking maze. You can get lost. So with maps.me, I just pinned our location, and that way we can, we always know which direction is home. <laughs> but we've already turned around a few times. Uh, yeah.
super hungry, but it's such a bad time. It's like 4 p.m. in the afternoon. We haven't had lunch, and it's not quite dinner time. So when we were walking around, we weren't finding anybody in the restaurants. And the people we did find were just drinking coffee. So we were walking in the Medina, and this young kid was like, uh, do you, what, are you, are you, what are you looking for? And I said, Which food. is usually a bad sign, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but his English was great. He was really helpful. Um, we are not sure, from our experience, not in Morocco, but in other countries, if you're being led to a specific restaurant, they might be getting a cut and um, you could be getting ripped off. But he showed us the menus. It's about $7 per dish. So Josh and I got couscous and uh, other specialty that's yeah. here. And to be clear, we don't actually yeah. know the prices here, but we're comfortable paying that. So yeah. we don't feel like we're getting ripped off, but um, I, I, I can't <laughs> say that that is a normal price. I have no yeah, yeah. idea yet. Like so. we said, we're not prepared for Morocco. We have no expectations. So right now we're getting a feel of like what to plan to expect. So right now, $7 is our mark. Yeah. <laughs> Anything cheaper seems really, really good. <laughs> and this was actually our plan for the day. We, we, were, we had yeah. the opportunity to come up with a guide, but we wanted to experience it like someone who would just come here and experience it. Yeah. I mean, walking through the Medina, it's giant. We are really, I'm enjoying going around and seeing all the things that are yeah. in the shops and all the little alleyways are so cool. I just want to walk down every single one of them. But, and yeah, later on we'll talk about expectation, like what our expectations were and what it really is. But um, for now, we're gonna eat. Um, Josh brought a little Wi-Fi hotspot from Gig Sky, Woo. and so we both are connected to it. We're able to just look at a little Wi-Fi while we're sitting up here on a beautiful terrace, waiting for the cute little man to make our Moroccan meal. Wow! Thank you. Yum. Olives, potato, potatoes, and. It's the melange in tomatoes in pain one. Okay, the and rice. And rice. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, so funny. This, that's the second person just today that brought up Trump. Every, everywhere we go, everyone's <laughs> like, so Trump, huh? And we're like, let's not talk about it. Uh, he just brought us, oh, we didn't even order this, so uh, supposedly just comes with your meal. But We'll we got, find out when the bill comes. <laughs> yeah, we got some bread, which is traditional Moroccan bread. Josh was looking this up earlier. It's called hops, in French called pan, and in English called bread. <laughs> Their word for the bread in Morocco is bread in yeah. Arabic. And hops. I, I think that it's baked in a wood fire oven is what I think I saw at least like traditionally a, yeah or maybe not wood fire but a um, ceramic oven we'll probably learn that a little later again first impressions <laughs> video here we're learning along with you guys and then they brought all these little things potatoes olives um, a tomato based thing and rice looks like a good starter yeah but <laughs> we'll share <laughs> wow that's a lot Ooh. That smells really good too. The sun is going down and the weather is taking a turn for the worse. It is below 70 degrees now and we're like relatively freezing. We didn't bring coats out. We didn't bring jackets. We didn't think about it. We have them, but. Uh, anyways, we got some couscous. This is, uh, well, couscous with chicken. Um, you can see the little chicken leg right there. Is, is there a chicken leg? Oh, you just missed it. This? Nope. What? Back, back, uh, back. Where are you looking right at? Right there, your fork. Go down. This? To the left or to the right. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> oh, you're okay. I see it. I see it. Yep. There's a whole chicken right there. Wow. I am blind. Okay. So yes, chicken couscous, and then um, some sort of beef thing. It's a beef dish cooked in a tagine. Tagine. So it's definitely traditional. Yeah. Here in. Is this? Oh, and okay. So eggs, eggs and bread, and then couscous and things cooked in tagines are probably like the staples of the Moroccan diet as far as I understand it. So this is really, this is like a Moroccan meal, an actual Moroccan meal, not something they put in tagines to make them look cool. I'm pretty happy with that. And All for right. seven bucks each? Yeah. I mean, that one is ginormous. Oh my goodness. We'll be full. Good? Oh, mm. That beef is so good. <laughs> I can't even identify those flavors. Whoa. I need some bread. Some bread with it. I don't know if this is how the Moroccans eat it. Why not? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's throw it down. Are you trying to be cool and yeah. throw it down? Like here, okay. Endless adventure. Okay, go ahead. Endless adventure cell. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. I forgot we came up so many flights. Morocco. 
Maybe you see near to the main street. <laughs> This is our alleyway. This is how we get home. It's pretty cool. All these little lights hanging and the um, wooden doors. I love it. And actually, they were saying that the Medina closes at 9 p.m. in the evenings. So basically, everything shuts down. Yeah. So we're headed back to our hotel. We'll, we'll give you guys like a little debrief. What's it called? Yeah, debrief works. Yeah. Hey Siri, what is the currency in Morocco? Dahane, don, dun, something. Oh, we don't actually have Wi-Fi in our room. Dang. Um, you don't you have the monies in your pocket? Yeah, I just don't know what they're worth in USD. It is super dark in here. Our meal came to seventeen dollars US. Um, I I think that's on the high end. Pricey. I think that's expensive. Um, yeah, so. All told, it was a little expensive. Um, we'll probably look other places for lunch, or maybe we'll just do a little bit of research to find out what a good deal is. As far as first impressions go, the area that we're in, um, the Airbnb is actually quite close to, like, the city, like the Medina. The it is um, in the Medina. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, like, it's in the area that people come for. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize we were that close. But at the same time, there's a ton of tourists. I was I was shocked. Were you? Yeah, I was really shocked. I actually expected more. Did you? Yeah. I mean, I felt like every third person was a tourist. Mm -hmm. Overall, I would say that uh, they're definitely used to and a bit reliant on tourism here in Fez. So in that sense, for me, it kind of is like, ah, really? Because I want to experience it for, for its realness, not like, have to fight to find that. Did you find that or am no, I, I just... Like that, I mean, they obviously had tourist sh shops everywhere, everywhere. But, um, but there are a lot of locals there that buying is a true. lot of things. And that is true. So the locals and the tourists are mixed doing the same things. That is true. Also, I kind of expected it to be like a big city, like kind of dirty and smelly. And it was not. Um, it was not. It was really clean. Um, the only thing is that there are cats everywhere and little cute baby kittens. Cute and babies. I want to touch them all, but yeah. I just don't because I'm afraid of getting... Touching stray please. cats in general is a no-no. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you are. But they are really cute and there are cats everywhere. I've, I've only seen one dog, maybe. Yeah. And in the Medina area, it's uh, the walled city. There are no cars. Right. So this is all walking streets. It's very dense, like full of very. people. Yeah. Um, and the buildings are really high. And also, uh, we've been places where the salespeople are really like aggressive. And pushy and stuff. Yeah. These guys, like, they'll say, hey, you want to come and do this? You want to do this? You want to see this or mm -hmm. whatever? And I'll say, no, thank you. And they kind of leave it at that. They're yeah. like, okay, thanks. Instead They're really of being like, no, no, ma'am, come in, come in. Um, which can get really annoying, yeah. so... I, because I, I'm very sensitive to that. I get annoyed extremely fast if mm -hmm. someone's being pushy or aggressive or constantly, like, trying to get you to buy something. Mm -hmm. There was a little bit of that because, again, it's a tourist thing, but, um, I don't think we experienced it that much. It was certainly much less than some places that we've experienced. Yeah, I was really impressed walking down the streets. We walked down, um, one of the last streets we walked down was, like, where they had all the spices, and it smelled so... Yeah. Freaking good. Yeah. <laughs> it smelled really good. There's a myriad of good smells. There's a little bit of B.O. here and there, but overall there's just really good spices and foods cooking and yeah. lots of different things that you're smelling. It's so strange. I've always wanted to come to Africa and we're in Africa. Technically but, we're in Africa. Yeah, it was nothing like what I would expect Africa to be like and so... Yeah, I just had no idea what to expect other than I kind of like had a mix of I think Africa's like plus India plus Qatar plus Turkey. Like, that's all the mix that I expected. <laughs> I would say that's actually kind of accurate. <laughs> At least in my mind, that works. Eh. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's fun. I mean, today's our very first day, so... First impressions. Th yeah, exactly. These are our first impressions. It, our minds might change the more that we do things, and we're not only staying in Fez, we are going to other areas in Morocco, mm -hmm. which might be very different. The, like, the whole idea of the Medina with the small, twisty roads and just uh, markets constantly. Like for me, it doesn't do as much. Um, 
but then I, then again, I don't know what would do it. So as far as an experience, I'm I'm glad I'm having it and I'm worth it. And we've been told by so many people to come to Fez. So tomorrow we're gonna have a bit more of an itinerary and actually experience some specific things that you're supposed to come to Fez for. Yeah. So that would be they are touristic things that they tours. are. So I mean, but what, what else do you do if like uh, if you're only here for a couple of days? Yeah. I think it's the tourist things. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that you would stay much more than a couple of days in Fez, but we'll be here four days, so we can also let you know. Whether that's too much or too little by the end. Yeah, and, but we do also have some ideas about different things that we think you might like. Anyways, that was our first impressions of Morocco. Um, pretty good. And also to throw it in there, oh yeah, it's in my pocket. The um, the little mobile hotspot that we were using from GigSky worked kind of flawlessly. We were yeah. in France. We we activated it in France because we still had Wi-Fi. And then when we landed, I turned it on and it started working. And you can just turn it on and off. I carry it in my pocket. Both Ashley and I were able to use it on both of our phones at once. <coughs> yeah, I mean, it worked great. It's a bit expensive to buy data in Morocco. Oh yeah. Other places are cheaper. It just depends on where you are. Country. But if you, I, I think I'm confident in saying I'm, I'm, I'm liking GigSky. So if you want to check them out, if you are looking to do a trip abroad and for whatever reason you don't have a current provider or it's just too expensive with your current provider or it just doesn't yeah. make sense somehow, check out GigSky. You basically just order the SIM ahead of time, and then you activate it, and then you buy data for whatever location that you're gonna be in. And for how many ever days you want. Like say you're gonna exactly. be one day in France because it's a layover, you can actually get credit for right. only one day in yeah. France and then come to Morocco and have the with, rest of the time. With the same SIM card. You don't have to like yeah. go out and buy different I SIMs. That's, so cool. that's for me, because we've been like buying one SIM here, one yeah, SIM there, yeah. one SIM there. And it's yeah. been so frustrating. We've spent like half days sometimes just trying to get a SIM to work. Yeah. Also our Airbnb, if you're interested in staying here in this place, we will also put the link down below. I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. We did have, like they've fed us and it's been amazing. They've served us tea yeah. um, constantly. They've been, if, if we're sitting, so I'm always afraid to sit in a public space because they come by and they're like, do you want some tea or something? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> they're just so nice. It's so hospitable. Yeah. So that link is down below as well. And the places that we stay while we're in Morocco, we'll mm -hmm. link to them while we're here so that you guys yeah. can stay there too. So check the description for links to GeekSky and this Airbnb. And Wayfam, I hope we encouraged you to get out there and travel today. We will see you in the next video. Subah al khair. Subah al khair. I think that's good night in Arabic. Arabic, yeah. Or but we'll try Berber. To learn Berber. Okay. It's got to be different. Subah al khair.